we were planning sales budget in copa and uh, we have configured sales budget enter planning package here we have made revenue planning and uh, cogs cost of goods sold so profitability planning is uh, by default made in system these are the our cost component structure now we will close this status double click on this we have to close this first of all we have to close this then after we will be able to now we can close complete this red is uh, only is showing a uh, open status and uh, yellow is showing uh, in processing status so we are closing this status right save it we can check unsaved data will be lost do you want to save it yes we can check planning data in ke25 transaction code here currency will be operating operating concern currency and uh, we will give our company code these are the copa planning transaction which we have made revenue element direct material consumption credit of by product activity power electricity fuel gas and the machine depreciation repair maintenance national material overhead etc now we will see production order settlement in profitability analysis so first of all we will create production order and how the settlement is transferred to profitability analysis so first of all we will create process order here we are uh, following process industry so the layout is similar to co01 our material is gx1 let's see gx1 order type is yq10 uh, we are producing uh, 500 kg here we are testing it hence current taking current date today is leave take two days public holiday so system is showing yellow message now in control we are selecting our cost sheet general data now determine cost we will just go through cost analysis okay we are producing main product and co product hence uh, these two line item are showing okay release with this order save it our order number 100178 has been created now we will confirm it cor6n in production order scenario 
ट्रांजेक्शन कोड वॉज सी ओ इलेवन एन फॉर कन्फर्मेशन ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ऑर्डर इन प्रोसेस ऑर्डर इट इज सी ओ आर सिक्स एन सेवन एट वी आर प्रोड्यूस एक्टिविटीज आर डन इन ऑपरेशन फेज ट्वेंटी एंड टेकन ट्वेंटी फेज फाइव हंड्रेड के जीज वी आर लेबर पावर गो टू गुड्स मूवमेंट यर फॉर प्रोड्यूसिंग ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड के जीज फिनिश गुड्स एक्चुअल कंजम्पन इज से लेट से For calculating variance, we are here randomly taken. We have taken twenty-seven hundred kgs. Save it. Good movement completed. Now we will produce goods. Uh, this step can be mitigated by activating backflows in Material Master. We will activate it in subsequent stage. Here we have not activated it. Storage location SC. Save it. Now go to our process order. go to cost analysis here two components are pending overhead material overhead and production overhead so we will see gx1 is our main product and uh, gx co product and uh, gx this co product is our co product we will now calculate overhead for calculation of overhead actual overhead transaction code is kg i2 period is 1 the notation See our overhead twenty eight point three five, twenty eight point three five production overhead, and twenty eight point three five is our material overhead. Processing completed. Go to order status. Here we can check actual overhead against budgeted overhead. We have maintained against actual overhead twenty eight three five zero. Okay, now we will close this. complete we will now or here order status is status is release confirm we will make it technically complete function restricting processing complete technically now we will be able to to do 
variance calculation and uh, here gx1 is our main product and uh, gx this uh, co product is also in in our scenario so we will have to execute co 8 b for preliminary settlement for co product rework in case of co product scenario we have to execute this step co 8 b transaction code See, see this is our cost of goods manufacture for man, uh, man product and this is cost of goods manufacture for co product if you want to check accounting document check it Yeah, this actually at this stage this entry is not passed. Here it is just showing uh, whatever activity and uh, overhead calculated. Same will be shown at later stage. So we will calculate variance now. For calculation of variance, transaction code is KKS2. Okay, remove test run. Here we can analyze variance cost element wise. These are the variance in activities and uh, this is variance in consumption code and this is in overhead. Now we will settle this order, remote test run. Here we have co main product and co product, so just um, two other status are showing. Go to profitability analysis. Here it is a record type B direct posting from FI. So whatever we configure in direct posting here we have to select cost element of uh, price variance in direct posting from fi so that it will come through direct posting from fi variance now this was the record uh, record type b and in profitability analysis second document it is showing record type c production order settlement production order settlement right error type c is related to production order settlement and go to value fed analysis your input quantity variance is 1085 0.85. No any uh, right. Remaining input variance and remaining input variance. Rest things are coming. Remaining input variance.
so in this way we can configure profitability analysis report by uh, by using report painter here we can use this value field for making of report and capturing all the variance category and uh, consumption as well as sales data so, thank you for for watching in next video we will configure uh, cogs splitting and a testing scenario in uh, sales module at the time of uh, sales of so how cogs is splitted and uh, how its value field is uh, captured in copa document thank you for watching